What's up guys, Z Crooks here. Back for another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a couple band houses on Willow Street. Um most of these houses are either empty, boarded up, or um, you know, decaying. Like this one right here. This is our first house that we'll be checking out. Practically in the middle of nowhere on a uh, quiet road near Hancock, Maryland. But uh, let's check this house out. I couldn't get through the front, so I'm going to actually check out the back. See if we can get inside there. I haven't been inside this house yet, so this is going to be an interesting trip. It's a lot of thorns. Okay. Okay, we're inside the first house. Looks like the floor is collapsing right there. Right there. So we're gonna have to wash our step. I don't know what that was right there. Bathtub? Let's see if we can get upstairs. I honestly don't know, but it's worth a shot. Pull up that handy dandy flashlight. Okay, looks like this house abandoned because of fire damage. I'm not surprised. It's very windy outside to be honest. Okay. All right, let's start driving. You guys didn't know this is my car. This isn't my urban exploration car, but it's the car that I use for uh, just regular um, driving, work, and deliveries and stuff. Since I work at a pizza shop. This 
say 2008 Infiniti M35X. It's a pretty old car, but it still does a job. Hit the road. Bye bye to that house. See you in the next several years or so. I guess. <laughs> That's the best part is I get my own little map for this car too. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's, get, let's get to the next one. As you know, my car has 184,000 miles. a safe spot right here yeah I mean it's all on the side of the road but it's better than nothing I mean better than parking in the middle of the road I decided to park right here instead seems more uh, suitable works better Hopefully no one tries to steal it. Even though we're gonna be very close to this house. Our next house is right here. Um, this is actually the biggest house on this road, and one of the, this is actually the second biggest house, I believe. It looks pretty cool from here. I'm pretty excited to see this. This might be my first house that actually has like an old style to it. Big house. Also pretty cool to see like a little lake here as well. A flowing pond. Whoever lives here must have been, you know, lucky. Uh, sneak into this place by getting caught. I feel anxious every time a car just drives by and stuff. So, here is the view of the house. It's pretty nice. Can't wait to get inside this. No homo. can't get through the front so we gotta get through the side of course let's see what this house has to offer and just to let you know I have not been in this house before either it's my first time Pull out the flashlight.
inside. Oh my. That. That's a nice view. It's also quiet as well. These must have been the living rooms and stuff. The main entrance was right here, of course. Let's try getting upstairs. But first, let's um, I think I just see an old television. Yes, I did. And a microwave, but the first sure that TV is more important than microwave. Okay. This one has digital buttons. RCA. It's cool. It's a bathroom. It says rip. It's in peace. It's upstairs. Seems like part of this floor is collapsing, so I gotta be careful. Oh yeah, it's not good. I watch my step. It's a lot of rooms, like holy crap. Um, since there's so much rooms, let's just do one at a time. Start this one actually. This one's just pretty empty. Closet. So, guessing this was the balcony porch thing. Yeah. We're not gonna go back there. Goes this one right here. Oh, it opened. Oh, that just leads outside. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna bother. Yeah, that's not bother. I don't want to fall in that porch. I do want to close the door, just to be polite. Gotta be polite, so... Can I ask the next room? closet and get a good view from the backyard from here a nice
nice still pond with a little bridge. Wonder how old this house is. It has like a very strange smell to it. It's like the smell of kerosene when you light it up. It's weird. Okay, it's the next room right here. This is just empty. Yeah, an empty room. Bathroom. And there's another room. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. This is the last room on the floor before you head upstairs. Just another empty room. It seems like this one has two closets instead of one. I don't get it. I don't get why you need two. My GoPro is not freezing. Okay, that one. So up to the last floor. Okay, let me turn on my flashlights, make some weird waves. We're not gonna get a flashlight for this, but it's another bedroom or some sort, yeah. Whoever owned this house is probably very wealthy. Hmm. Interesting. So this stuff always piques my interest. You had a big backyard. Pretty big backyard. This damage was made by a teenagers or something. Okay, uh, I think I think that's it for this house. Let's see what's in the backyard. All right, we're in the backyard. Nice view of the house. You can still see the pond from here. Little pond. And I guess this, I guess that's like a shed. 
another shad. I don't know what that is. Go look at this pond. Wow, freaking trip. And these plants. I also apologize if it's very breezy. That's just the weather today. Can't do nothing much about it. Oh, looks like it's like a water house, something. I think that's the only thing that leaks. That old, old water. I thought this was a bunker from the outside, but it's not. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, let's, let's check out the next house. Okay, back on the road. We're gonna check out the second house, actually. Um, it's not really that far, actually. It's just over the hill. I was trying to like, just cut through the woods to get there, but unfortunately there was a blockage with the thorns and crap, so I couldn't get there. So now I'm just taking my car, turn signals, okay. But, I mean it's better than walking, so. We're gonna pull over right here. You see the house right there. The house that we're looking for is right here. So it's best to just pull over wherever you can. That's open space and stuff. I don't really get how these these roads back in the middle of nowhere are so busy. But Let's check out this house. All right, pulling up to the next house. This one will probably be very short. Uh, you probably, you guys probably can't see it, but the house that we just went to is right there. So it's a very short distance. This is the house that we're checking up next. Definitely fits the vibe of how eerie it is today. Um, I wonder if you can actually just dive into the front. It honestly looks like we can, so. Um, yep, yeah, looks like we can. Let me get through these twigs and branches. On second thought, this. Oh, yeah, looks like we can't really do much inside here. Ouch. I don't think, uh, I don't think it's safe to be in here, to be honest. <laughs> but it was worth checking it out. Looks like this place caught on fire too. Like, what's going on with these houses catching on fire? This is the second house that caught on fire.
people don't know how to maintain their house or something or what? This place looks like it's gonna fall at like any second now because of us all this oh, collapse collapsing. I'm gonna be careful. This is definitely not safe. I'm inside of a house that caught on fire and stuff. So whatever you do, do not do this at home. Or rather, at the place that you know that caught on fire. I've been doing this for a while, so I just know what's right and wrong. My instincts. Some bad fire damage. If you want to I'm going to give you a better view of it. There you go. It's pretty bad fire damage. It's still pretty uh, sad to see a house like this just get, you know, just left. Could I at least rebuilt it or something. I don't even think I can get upstairs. The floor the floorboards look fine just these steps right here I don't think I can get up there oh uh, yeah if I was me I wouldn't I wouldn't risk going up here but it's worth checking this house out let's uh I guess let's just get to the next house Going up to the next place. There's actually two houses here. Just trying to figure out where I can park at. I am. I might just park right here actually. See the house right here? Go park here. Just simply walk out of the car, you know. Hopefully, no one takes my mirror off. Let me move over a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let's check out this house. All right, let's check out this house right here. Um, let's see. This actually looks like a small shack. Shack house. I think I saw my shoe again. Pretty small. You can also see the second banded house from down there too. I want my flashlight so you can guys so you guys can see. The first step. It's a very, very small house. I wonder what's the story behind this one. That looks pretty bad. Doesn't even have a basement. Let's see what's upstairs. I'm gonna step in something. Ooh. So you got more floor damage, so I gotta be careful.
All right, let's see the next house. One that's uh, right there. All right, we're at the next house. See what kind of stories behind this one right here. Mysteries and tales. Um, let's try moving through the back. Let's see, going through the back is always easier. People who actually lived in this house have actual stuff in it instead of all the others that was left behind and burned down. There's actually stuff on the floor I noticed and recognized they're here. What is this? Oh, the flashlight. Need it. Some unknowing faces. It says class of 2002. I don't know any of these people. The Citizens National Bank. Open it. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Okay. It's 2001. Bunch of random faces. Wow. And I only graduated high school last year. Okay. Some, some color in these new papers. Yeah, this is just a bunch of newspaper stuff. I don't read the newspaper, I'm too young. I'm surprised all these kids ran rampage through this two thousands and haven't bothered taking a look at the newspaper. Some more vehicles. Very nice. So some just put that over there. Just pretend that I didn't put through that. Honestly, hard for me to keep balance in here. I'm guessing this was a living room or whatever. I don't know why it's so small. Let's try going upstairs. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother.
like old clothing and stuff on the floor. But uh, I think I see a. Okay, I'm too loud. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna back up. That's too loud. Let's head to the next house. All right, guys, we're at the next house. Even though it was a very short walk from the other one, here we are at the next house. See if we can get a front view, you guys. Pretty old looking. Let's see if we can uh, get inside safely. Maybe that's dark. I have a flashlight. It's very quiet in here. Yeah, someone just has this old TV here. I don't see no, oh, another RCA. This one looks a little bit more reserved than all the other ones. It's less damage. Except for that right there. Hmm. Very interesting. This this um house does smell though. I'm not surprised. Is there anything in here? No, just an empty room. Let's head upstairs. Drinks all bad. Oh my gosh. But that's a nice blue color. Bunch of old stuff on the floor again. It's like every man in the house. Let's see a calendar. Let's see. Two thousand two. It's like both these houses have been there since 2002. It's honestly a bit like a long time ago. Hey, 
ain't no way. Is there? I see some. Uh, I see some snake skins, snake shells or skins. Like it's gross. Like, like you know how like snakes like shed their skin. It's like all over here. Ew. How can a snake even get up here? Matter of fact, why is there dirt up here anyways? Whatever. Uh, let's just uh, let's just try to ignore that. Another house down on the bucket list. Let's check out the next one. Honestly, now that I'm over here, should I even take the risk of going inside this house right here? This house, like, uh, looks like spot like fall over, <laughs> like all the other ones, but this one is like the roof is gone. <laughs> it's about to just disappear. Or you might just take like a little peek. I don't know. I might change my mind. If I can get inside this house, then that's good. If this is even a house. Like, what is this? Is this a schoolhouse? A hotel? I don't know. Uh, there's a ditch right here. Oh, I fall in the ditch. Holy crap, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get over here. Pulling through here. It takes so much work. You have to see something. Yeah, this is another banner house. Some sort. Um I'm trying to think, what are the odds of getting injured in here? This house looks like it's been abandoned for like 30, 40 years. Because um So I can't do, I can't do much in here. Flashlight activate. I keep my balance. Looks like yep, this place caught on fire. I don't understand what's the deal with all these buildings catching on fire. Did it get struck by lightning or what? Hear some noise. Switch positions. Is that a goose or what? What is that? What is that noise? Here. Is this some sort of community? I think this is a community building. Some sort. This is probably a community building. A call fire. It's like. That's a big basement. Check my step because I might fall through here. I'm not careful. I can't do much about that either. I want to go upstairs, but just by the look of this place, it's not really worth it at all. 
you look closely, there's holes in the planks that can fall through into the basement. Yeah. It's always the downsides of these buildings. Let's have the public bathroom. The porch is falling out. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, get out of this building because I am. I'm not liking this building to be honest. <laughs> this one is a little bit. This is one that's very sketchy. If you like fire buildings, ones that caught on fire. Super sketchy. Okay, let's head to the next one. Alright, we're heading to the last house. This one is pretty easy to find. Um, let's see. It's actually just down this hill. Kind of looks like doomsday outside. It's this gloomy weather and stuff. We are going to park right here. Because I don't want to get stuck anywhere else. I don't think I'll get stuck in this this little bog water. Yeah, I said bog water ain't that bad. Okay, put it in here. All right, Hope you guys can see that, but that's the last location. Let's get there right now. Let's go there. All right, so we're at the last location um, for this house. <clears throat> I need some water, but as you can see, this is the last house for the video. I have to do this quickly because I just heard some sh gunshots and stuff. I am 100% aware about this right here. No hunting, no trespassing, but someone is shooting their guns. Like, I just heard like someone shoot off like a rifle like three times over here. It caught me off guard. So we're gonna pull this off quickly. Cause you know, I don't wanna get caught and I don't wanna get in trouble. Or shot. You know, I'm too young to get shot in the middle of nowhere. But, long story short, as you can see, I can't really get a good shot from the house because of the vegetation, but there is a house right here. Um, let's see. It's mostly boarded up. I found one entrance to get inside. There's actually two more houses I wanted to show you guys, but they're all boarded up, so you can't really get inside it once you get like a chainsaw or something to break through. We're gonna try slipping through here. Okay. Quick and clean. <sighs> A collapsing porch. Can I pull that off? It's the last house for you guys. I don't know what, what's the story behind this one, but it's here. I'm guessing this one was also abandoned in the early 2000s. So. There's tons of newspapers on the floor, so I might can get a hint out of that. Shall we check the newspaper? Let's see what they have to offer. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just 2002. Something happened in 2002 which caused all these places to just suddenly become abandoned. I might look up on that soon. But I might not even get any information about it. I 
as you can see they boarded it up very good very well but they they get the back door which is a common mistake these types of buildings what the heck is that is that paint oh it looks like drinks what is that stuff It was kind of stupid. I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm not gonna say it." Oh, harsh. So bathroom right here. It's the old decay. Stepping on so much glass. Another door. It leads outside. Steps goes upstairs. Let's take a look upstairs. I also will make a good haunted house. But I don't really believe in ghosts. Creaky force. Guess that's that bleeds downstairs. This must be the landing or something something. I think the property of this entire area is owned by a sportsman club, which is like a hunting range. So I think that's probably why I hear shooting and stuff. If you do plan on coming in this area, coming out in this area, I do suggest like putting on like an orange vest or something. I didn't know that this place was owned by a sports area, sportsman area. So I'll try to be careful next time. But I think that's all this house has to offer. Like I said, there's lots more houses on the street, but um, some of them are just boarded up or on people's property, so you can't really access them without getting caught. So you gotta be careful. But anyways, You guys probably know where it's at. I'll uh, drop the address in the YouTube description for you guys. Most of these places are on private property, so be careful. And hopefully, you guys get to see the history of these places. So, this was a, a very interesting field trip. I think, yeah, that leads upstairs. This was a nice field trip for me. Is there no one outside? Nope, looks like I'm safe. Oh, we've got to get out of this right here. 
from my flashlight. This uh, roof is pretty un like very hazardous. I hear the creaking noise and stuff. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna try dodging this. A bunch of garbage in here. Yeah, nothing important. Let's get out of here. I want to go home now, to be honest. Explored like, I don't know, like six houses today. Like, yeah, like six houses. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting out of here. <laughs> we're zooming. I know you heard those gunshots, but I'm like 100 miles away from home, 150 miles away from home. There is no way I'm going to get shot today. We're getting out of here. Okay. Anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. I take me a while to edit and stuff. Um, like I said before, if you come out here, please be careful, and so forth. And this is Ecrix. Hope you have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. ETC. See you guys in the next one.